Hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. Today in this video, we are going to evaluate one software and it is a paid software. Generally, I do not uh, promote any paid software uh, because I'm not affiliated with that companies. Uh, so you may like it, you may not like it, it's up to you. Uh, but this is no promotion. This is a software I kind of liked it and I'm using it heavily. So I thought of like sharing this with you. All right, so Wi-Fi Explorer built by Intubit, uh, a nice company. It gives you all their software as a free service, but then again, the free bar, free uh, free one has certain limitation. It's not full suite. So if you pay for it, you will get all the capabilities. Uh, let's check how pricey it is. Hit on buy now. It takes you to the purchase website and you can see it's like 130 bucks. And if you have uh, uh, educational email then you can get additional 50 percent discount okay so what it can do for you as we are getting ready for our wireless uh, series right i'm bringing up a wireless uh, fundamental um, for wireless uh, experience and you can spend time uh, listing the cap uh, capabilities of this software but i'm gonna give you a quick demo uh, in my environment all right, so let's go to the software itself. This is, uh, once you install, you uh, apply the license, then this is what you will see when you launch the software. Yeah, as you can see, it is showing you a very nice view of all the SSID around me, what is their network name, what uh, channel they are using, if they are doing any channel width bonding, that means 20 megahertz, 40 megahertz, 80 megahertz, right? Uh, what generation of Wi-Fi it has, wh what kind of security there. So all those details, right? Basically, which you can uh, generally sense uh, from the AP beacons, right? All this is nicely laid out here. So this is, mm, so let's understand the software first. All right. So this is all the network de related details. And you can see it is, uh, it has some filters here. So it has a custom filter, configure custom filter, then all, I have selected all. Then you can, uh, select 2.4 gigahertz and it will show you all 2.4 only you can say show me 5 gigahertz only 5 will be shown and then you can see okay show me the ssids which has no security or is open to connect right vulnerable uh, luckily no one is open that's good and then secure all right so these are some filters here then on top of this you can see i have the start and stop button this is to actively scan and stop scanning you don't want to keep on scanning all the time right uh, then this is an interesting one so here you can see i have some modes active mode mode and directed mode so i can say that okay i want to scan a specific network i can name the ssid and it will scan only that that is part of active and, uh, and directed then we have a couple of mode in passive in passive uh, no null beacon sent it's only listen or sniff um, the air or Wi-Fi uh, EM signals around me and you can passively listen to all channels or you can say that okay I want to listen to one particular channel um, maybe you are doing some kind of survey and want to understand how congested that channel is so you can scan that channel passively one particular channel right so these are the drop downs uh, let me start the scan and you can say that every time you start and stop it asks you if you want to save i don't want to save right now okay and then uh, choose a channel to scan no i don't want to do it okay let me send it, select it to active yep and then scan so it is actively uh, scanning all right how do you know where you are connected where is your laptop connected right so uh, in this the bold is the indication so anything in bold that tells you that this is your bssid this is your network ssid and this is where actually you are connected and in particular to that you can say all those information here what is your signal look like what is the uh, noise there what channel you are using right all those information you can glean from uh, mm -hmm. pain here which is network details then again there are a couple of other things here signal strength 
spectrum very nice spectrum analyze analyzer it shows you uh, what is your channel width and all other things right so if you're using some spectrum analyze uh, analyzer you can connect it with that and feed in uh, advanced details so there are like two sections we have visited the top pane here and then the bottom one in bottom one is again uh, kind of like segmented we have network details signal strength spectrum give you very nice spectrum analysis and advanced detail advanced detail is as granular as you are for doing a wireshark capture you know so you can see all those information very nice information here you really don't have to uh, run a wireshark capture because it gives you so much information all right so you can say copy element obviously when you have the network information sometime you want to uh, take it out and do some kind of processing right so you can copy element or you can copy all element and export it okay so this is what you clean from advanced detail there are two other views which i want to show you is on my right side if i do this the right side pane will expand and here you can see if i have selected if i have selected some ssid it will tell me what is if there is an open issue with that SSID and as you can see separate network name so I'm not following some best practice recommendations that's why it is giving me this kind of like warning sign right and then timestamps different timestamps uh, what is my how my SNR is changing with respect to signal then this is all the channel information right uh, channel band beacon uh, what network I'm using all those details right if, if what are the my overlapping channel all those things I can see from here uh, proximity UID is not available anything and uh, for Zigbee this is a Zigbee uh, but for Zigbee you need a Zigbee adapter which I don't have at this moment uh, plugged in to my laptop okay all right so let's go to default and on left side also I want to show you so for left side you have to click this icon and it is going to expand there's so much details here you can see that all this information what you see centrally they all are very nicely grouped here so you can simply uh, see all the network name listed under network name you can see all the modes channel security how many access points I have nearby what are the different vendors all those information I can clean from here okay because if this uh, space is feel too cluttered for you all right so this is like a left and right pane and then you have the middle and the bottom one too much information right all right what else you can do you can export all network you can export all displayed network that means you can extract data out of this um, uh, uh, software or out of this tool right uh, that's a very uh, big plus I would say then you can organize your views and if you have spectrum analysis uh, what I like here is in spectrum analysis is um, uh, yes what I like about view is show center frequency all right so sometime we are not very comfortable with the uh, uh, channel number and you really want to see uh, what is uh, the actual frequency I'm using right so for that you can go to view and say show network frequency and as you do that you start seeing that this is the 5 gigahertz band so uh, 5500 then 5520 and then 5540 all those frequencies in megahertz you will start seeing here also you can see right so sometime that comes handy uh, and if you uncheck that those frequencies are gone all right I think uh, 
one last thing I want to show you is this annotation. So here I can annotate. This is home so that I know um, what is that signal, right? And I can see the annotation available. Also here, what you can do, you can uh, You can add and uh, uh, delete more things so you can filter and you can rearrange the columns as ever uh, however you want that you can do using this I'm going to stop the scan and let's see okay we didn't talk about profile and uh, sensors so If you go to scan, manage remote sensors. And if you have something remote, like a access point or something, you can put your IP address there and it will use that IP address or a SSID and scan that. I haven't run any remote sensor so myself yet, but it is a uh, good use case. And then uh, to manage how sensitive the scan should be, how often, what, how you want to display your signal strength, dBm or percentage, all those things you can do from here, right? Spectrum analysis advanced. So this is basically the manageability part of it. All right. So this, this I really found it useful. Okay, uh, just for do the Wi-Fi planning and see if I can place my um, stations well and one more thing i want to show you here is uh, as you can see i have this mesh network that means for one ssid i have a couple of access points the best part of this is uh, it tells me that which access point actually i'm connected and as if i as i start roaming around with my laptop when the switching happen I can see in real time that I switch from one access point to another access point. And that that is amazing. You know, a lot of free softwares are there which can scan, sniff uh, air and give, present you this view, but they essentially do not understand the mesh network and cannot give you the roaming visibility. But this software does that. So I, I really like that part. All right, I think uh, this is all I wanted to show you in this quick demo. And I hope you like it and uh, I leave it up to you if you want uh, to invest or no. But thank you.